Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to another nine to five day in my life as a people consultant in London. Let's spend the day together. Good morning. I am getting into a pretty good rhythm of going into the office two days a week now. The company that I work for has set that they want us to come in every Tuesday and Wednesday. So that is what is happening. It is Tuesday for me today and I'm gonna take you into the office with me and we are gonna spend the day together in a very normal corporate day in the life. So I am late as always. I, even though I'm going in two days a week now, I'm still seem to be always late when I have to go into the office versus working from home because it just takes me that much longer to get ready. And I just don't understand how like pre COVID times I could literally like get up and get out the door in like half an hour. It takes me like a good hour and a half these days. Anyway, so we're heading off and this is what I'm wearing today. This top from Abercrombie, I recommend so much. I've got it in black and white. I got it in a medium, but I wish I'd got it in a small. It just only had a medium available, but it's actually like a little bit baggy here. But I just think the top, the neckline here, is just really nice and it feels quite sophisticated. I love it. Anyway, so I've got white Abercrombie bodysuit on and these trousers, oh, actually, they're, I'm, I'm in all Abercrombie today. These trousers are also Abercrombie. I love their tailored trousers. They've got so many different options. They've got the curve love options if you have slightly bigger bum or hips. And they've also got varied lengths as well. But yeah, I'm just such an Abercrombie hype girl. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing into the office today. I've got my trainers on. I always just wear trainers into the office, to be honest, and then dress like slightly smarter on the top. I've got my bag together. I need to stick my coat on. It's that weird weather where like, I kind of need a coat because it's autumn, but I also kind of don't. The last thing I want to do is actually grab an apple from in here. I always like, and I just need to take the bins out, but I always like leaving the place pretty neat and tidy so that when I come home, everything is like all looking lovely and I can just sink into my evening. I want to grab myself an apple so I've got a snack with me for the day because you guys know how much I love to snack. I've talked before about how I think commuting gets a bit of a bad rap. Don't get me wrong, there are times when I absolutely would rather not and being crammed on a train or a tube with lots of very sticky people in the heat of summer is not something that's very nice. But I do think there is something to be said for having some time that is completely to yourself. There is nothing else you can really be doing that's productive. It's for you to spend as you like. And for me today, I have this rather magical moment where everybody just completely emptied off the train before we got to Waterloo. So I had all these seats to myself to sit down, get out my notebook and make a few notes on some of the key things that I wanted to achieve today. And more importantly, how I wanted today to make me feel. I know it can be so unpleasant for some, but if you also commute and hate it, then I would just really challenge you to take a few moments of your commute, if you can, to spend some time inside your own head. Give yourself a bit of extra love, because honestly, I can't think of a better way to start my day than with a little extra dose of positivity. today. I feel like I'm still slightly shell-shocked. That was truly one of those days where it was just back to back to back to back. It's later than I would want to come home. I also halfway through the day started dealing with stuff with the house that we're trying to buy which I've told you guys about. It's like it's the dream dream home and anyway we've got some hiccups that have just come up and the people that we're buying it from have like 
not done some things they said they were gonna do. And so now it's like unclear whether we're gonna get it because we need to make a decision about whether we're happy with the amount of risk that we've now got because of the things they haven't done. Oh, I know everyone says it every time, but like buying a house is so stressful. And then on top of a busy day, wow. Anyway, I'm gonna shake my mood. I'm sorry to be flat with you guys. I always wanna be positive, but this afternoon's killed me off. I was at such a good morning, right? We were having such a good morning. And then this afternoon has just not treated me nicely. Anyway, I'm sure everything will be grand with the house. I'm sure it will be fine. I'm putting good vibes out into the universe. Help me, please also put good vibes out there for me that we get it. Otherwise we are back to square one. And I'm also home to my Sephora order because if there's anything to celebrate it's the Sephora is now in the UK. And I only ordered a couple of little things, like it's a tiny box, but um, but yeah, I did order two things that I've been absolutely desperate for. So before I make some dinner, cause I'm so hungry, I thought I'd show you. One is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Truly the best concealer in the world. If you want like a full coverage one, I've been using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I think it's called in the interim because I used to just order this from the States and then just get it shipped over from the US. And then I stopped. And anyway, now I've got Sephora in the UK. So I've got another top up of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because you guys know, or maybe you haven't noticed, but I notice it all the time that I get really, really dark under my eyes. Like when I don't wear makeup, mine are just naturally really dark. So everyone's always like, are you tired? And I'm like, no, actually, <laughs> I've just got dark eyes. But anyway, and nothing brightens them quite like this. So highly recommend if you also suffer with just naturally looking tired all the time. And then the other thing that I have been desperate for, and every single time I've tried to buy it anywhere, it is always out of stock, is the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. The iconic one, which is just meant to be like the best thing ever for curling eyelashes. Honestly, the amount of raves that I've heard about this are unbelievable and I've been absolutely desperate for it. And now, now we've got it. I bet it's the same as all eyelash curlers. It's just got magnificent marketing, but I'm really excited to be proven wrong and that it's actually mind blowing because mine broke while we were in Corfu. So I haven't had eyelash curlers now for a couple of weeks. Anyway, got that. And those are the only two things, but sometimes we don't have to do massive hauls, guys. We don't need to buy everything in the world, but these two little purchases make me very happy. So. That has helped boost my mood. The next thing that will help boost my mood is eating some food because a salad and a yogurt is not enough for a girl for a whole day, calories wise. I can feel my energy levels depleted, but this is where we have set ourselves up for success by having leftovers in the fridge. I made a whole load of that, um, cauliflower and chickpea curry that I posted on my shorts and that you saw in last week's video. And I've defrosted the leftovers. Honestly, it's so good guys, like honestly divine. So I get to just stick this in the microwave. And I think I've also got a bit of naan bread as well. Yeah, I do. So I can also reheat this and have, after a busy day of work, being able to come home to dinner that's like already made is so good. You know I love to cook, but tonight's not the night for it. So I'm going to get changed, put some pajamas on, reheat this dinner, sit on the sofa, put an episode of TV on, decompress, and then we will come back around to our evening routine a little bit later. Although to be honest, that is firmly part of this evening's evening routine. And then I'm gonna have a little bit of a reflect in an hour or so, what productive things we want to get done this evening so that I feel as recharged and set up for success tomorrow as I possibly can be because yeah it's a Tuesday I'm knackered we still have several days of the week to get through and so it will not serve me to just sit and scroll on my phone all night because it's just going to mean that I'll wake up tomorrow being like oh uh, what am I doing today confusion a bit groggy I just don't feel good after I've done that for a night. So we're gonna eat some food, watch some TV for an hour, get some comfy PJs on, and then we're gonna revisit our productivity for the evening. Okay, let's do it.
here we go. Not the prettiest maybe, but some naan bread and some curry is exactly what I need right now. And I'm gonna sit there with my nice glass of ice water and decompress, refuel and unwind. sat here doing emails instead of actually being able to unwind yes we have but it doesn't matter because i've just got out my birthday chocolates which i don't know if you saw one of my little youtube shorts of me picking this up if you didn't know already you get five pounds for free with hotel chocolat when you like put in your birthday when you sign up so i went to get my five pounds this was actually like eight pounds i think so i just like spent the difference but I haven't had a chance to open it since my birthday and I'm very excited to have one or two of these this evening. Oh, let's have a look. What are the flavors we've got? Okay, so we've got Billionaire's Shortbread, Raspberry Panna Cotta, Dizzy Praline. I love praline. Peanut Butter. And then Eaton Mess, Caramel Cheesecake, Pecan and Simple Milk. Mm. I don't know what to have. So I'm immediately tempted by Billionaire Shortbread, Pecan, or Dizzy Praline. I think those are the ones that are like tempting me the most. What's this one again? That one was Caramel Cheesecake. No, I think I'm still tempted by one of those three. Maybe I'll go for Billionaire Shortbread tonight. What do you think? Is that a bad decision? Not, can't possibly be can because I'm going to eat them all. How good does that look? That's like little bits of biscuit, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Let's see what we think. My hair is up now because as you know, when we concentrate, hair goes up. Okay, let's try this. It's good. It's good. Don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can get it to focus there. Yeah, it's like got like a caramelly. It's not a gooey center. It's almost like a like a truffly center but it's like like a slightly caramelly gooey thing and then the little bits on top of biscuit and then again you can see kind of like the caramel drape down the side it was a good choice we made a good choice i'm very happy with this yum okay it's time we're gonna do something very important right now everybody this is significant autumn is here i haven't felt ready until now to do this I am now feeling ready. It's about time. Here we go. This is where I got to last year with my watch. Season 7, episode 13. But autumn is here. I need a bit of comfort TV. We knew that we were going to start at some point. For the new season. And now that time has come. Okay guys, here we go. Happy autumn. Ah, oh, don't you just feel better already?
well greased and oiled and are in bed with our tea, which is just the very best time of the day. So I've made a bit of an executive decision that for the rest of this season, so for the rest of autumn, I'm not gonna start any new television. I am gonna be watching my Gilmore Girls, but because I've seen it so many times and literally know every single word, it's something that I can both watch when I need like cozy comfort in a focused way, but I can also just have it on in the background. But apart from that, apart from Gilmore Girls, I have decided that I am going to read this season instead. I've already said that reading is like one of my goals for this season and I'm really excited to experience being able to read my book by the fire in the new place. But I need some recommendations. So could you let me know, if you wouldn't mind, what is the best book you've ever read? Like what's your favourite ever book? Or what's a book you've read recently that you really recommend? Either or. I just finished, well I finished it actually in... Corfu or just after I got back. I finished Lessons in Chemistry. I thought it was really, really good. It wasn't like the best book I've ever read. Maybe like seven and a half out of 10, I'd give it. I found it super engrossing, like I got completely sucked into it. I really liked the story. I thought the ending was a tiny bit predictable for me, but I still really enjoyed it. So I would recommend Lessons in Chemistry, but I would love a recommendation from you. I've got my Kindle. I read most books on my Kindle, so pretty much anything is game. So yes, any recommendations for books that I should read this autumn from you would be amazing. And like fiction books, not non-fiction. I'm kind of looking for like proper stories that I can get lost in, as if it was like a new TV show. So let me know. Otherwise, I'm sorry this video did not have a full routine in it in the way that I wanted it to. I actually think today is one of those days that I would never normally film where things didn't entirely go to plan. I didn't get up and go for my run before I went off to work. I literally woke up, dove in the shower, washed my hair, scrabbled to get my makeup on and left for work super late. It was then a day of all of the things that I planned to do today getting completely sidetracked. I didn't get in, I didn't sit down, review my to-do list from the day before, tick things off as I went, look at my daily schedule, plan in habits around certain important meetings. It was literally a day of no review of to-do list, back-to-back -back meetings. Then there was the chaos with the house stuff that was getting thrown in and like messing with my stress levels. And then it was a commute home with a delayed Jubilee line. You saw those crowds. They were just insane today. Queuing and crammed on the tube to then get back here, have leftovers for dinner instead of making myself something fresh from scratch. And then sitting on the sofa, intending to do all these productive things after that, only, only to end up on the phone for hours and back on my emails basically all evening, but we did get to have a yummy dinner. I did enjoy a chocolate from my box and I did have a couple of episodes of Gilmore Girls on in the background while I did my emails, which is a pretty nice evening to be honest. But yeah, sorry for probably just recapping the whole video you've just watched. I'm just processing what a chaotic day today has been in my mind. And I'm sorry there hasn't been more inspiration in terms of fitness and food in the ways that I would love to have been able to share that today, but it was a very realistic day. And if you are also an office girly who works in a high pressure job where things just take over your life sometimes, you'll know how it is. So hopefully at the very least, it's been a dose of relatability. As always, I have had the best time bringing you along and getting to hang out with you even on a very ordinary day is the coolest thing ever. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have the very, very best week and I cannot wait to see you.